excited. We're talking today about something that will really encourage you and give you a complete lift in your thoughts and your emotions and, and all of that. But I want to start off and just encourage you with this really cool testimony. I had a friend of mine talk with me uh, in the last several months and they were di diagnosed with diabetes. And it was super discouraging because it was it came out of the blue, 100 percent unexpected. And they're like, what? you know, I'm not, you know, a little bit overweight, but what? And it was just super frustrating. And my friend, when they analyzed their blood levels and sugar and all that stuff, it was just ridiculous. I mean, it was at at a point where it was extremely dangerous. And my friend was struggling because, you know, oh my, this is something I didn't expect. I don't want this diagnosis. You know, it's got to change my lifestyle. And they were very, very discouraged. I said, but wait a second, let's pray. Let's take just a second here because God can do what's impossible. And so we prayed and shortly thereafter, you know, a few months later, they monitored blood sugars and all this stuff. But the reports came back, the blood sugar level had dropped to completely normal and healthy levels. And it was really a, a divine transformation. Of course, my friend has stayed on, you know, kind of lifestyle with exercise and diet and all that. But still, it's a real tremendous, tremendous victory for my friend and seeing God do what, what seemed impossible, seeing God do that. And, you know, I love this. God does impossible things. Luke 137 says that. Nothing is impossible with God. And we would like to pray for you for whatever is impossible in your life. And, you know, thinking about it, not like impossible, you know, I want to fly to Saturn, not nonsense, <laughs> but something impossible. Right. Like maybe you had a bad medical report. Maybe you had some discouraging news from one of your grandkids or from your parents or, or you had a problem, a, a setback on your job, or maybe you didn't get accepted into the school you wanted. We want to pray for you that God would make things, all things possible and turn those things around. So hop on the phone get on the website. And mom, one of the things to encourage and lift us today is we're talking about faith. Yes, and we, we have this are. cool book called Bulldog Faith. Yes. And uh, you wrote this a lot, long time ago, but I like it because it is about all about bulldog faith. And of course you can hop on the phone and we'd love to help you get this book. But talk to us a little bit about faith. Well, faith is so key. And I'm just going to share a testimony about your dad. Uh, Wally would have times when he would be depressed. And when he got depressed, he would really be down for three days. And he wouldn't talk to you. I mean, he was just ugh, out of it. And I thought, you know, this shouldn't be like this. So one night, I went in to the bedroom, and he was sitting up in the bed looking out the window. And I tried to talk to him. Don't talk to me. I'm depressed. Don't talk to me. And so I just took some moments and went out. And I said, God... This is just a pattern in him. Maybe every two months he goes through this. And God began to show me how to deal with him. That's why I like this bulldog faith so much. So this is what I did. Because really, we practice faith and we have these experiences that help us with the next situation. So I came in and I said, uh, I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I said, uh, well, I'm going to talk to you anyway. So I said, are you born again? Well, you know I am. Leave me alone. I said, no, no, I want you to say it. I'm born again. Okay, I'm born again. And so then I led him through faith confessions until he was free. Now listen, Sarah, this is before you were born. But I had to stick with it and just keep him saying what God said. That's why I want you to have this. And maybe you have patterns of depression. You know, call us for prayer. Or you have loved ones who have that. But be sure you get the bulldog faith. Now, I like this, Sarah, because it's small. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times, if it's too lengthy, we won't bother with it. But this is very crisp. Faith promotes you to high places. Would you like to get higher? <laughs> you say, well, I'd like to get high. Yeah, get high with your faith. And call in and get this. It's awesome for you. And, of course, you can call in with any of your needs at any time in, during this program, we'd love to pray. Mom, I was thinking about Jesus and Jesus' life and those those guys that lowered that gentleman through the roof. <laughs> right. And it says that Jesus saw their faith. Right. And I think sometimes we don't appreciate um, the actions that faith requires. Right? right. We can say, oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, but we don't always follow through with actions. And I think that's such an essential ingredient for us that we walk out. Faith without works is dead. So we, we put action into the what we do believe. I believe 
there are so many times, and you, for you, a perfect example, how many times you've been to Pakistan, you put action to that. Is there right. resistance? Is there opposition? Tell me. Is there any resistance <laughs> or opposition to going to Pakistan? <laughs> well, you know. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. But I'm telling you, God honors faith no matter what. He honors faith. And there are high places. So I can look at Pakistan and say the last meeting we had, I'm 85, we had a million people. What? And they didn't kill you? No. And probably 40% stood to receive Jesus. <laughs> and that was my seventh time there. Hey, you need to get bulldog faith. Because sometimes we just give up. We think, oh, well, it's not going to happen. Get bulldog faith. We don't give up till we win. Call in right now. You know, Mom, also, there are individuals watching right now that are struggling with their kids and their grandkids. Oh, yeah. you know, they're concerned that they're not serving Christ. And we would love to pray just the first names of your kids or your grandkids that are not serving Christ. So hop on the phone, and we're not going to take a long time in counsel, but we'd love to get their first names and pray for them and see God do a turnaround because that's part of bulldog faith. And the other thing I would suggest on faith that's so important, Mom, is um, kind of some some, uh, what's the right word? Those friends that lowered that guy through the roof. Right. Fellowship, right? That you got some companions around. You call them crazy faith friends. I do. Right? And I think that's good. <laughs> I and I would encourage you, maybe you grab a couple copies of this and say, hey, would you be a, a crazy faith friend? Right. Would you be bulldog? Would you lock in with me and not let go? And the idea of bulldog mom, is, I think is this is right, is when they lock on their jaws that they just can't let go until they rip it off, right? And that's the idea. You don't let go till you win. And so, you know, you go through things with your children. And I like this about those crazy faith friends. I think the man who was sick had crazy faith too. Would you like somebody to drag you up on a roof and then cut a hole and drop you down? What if they drop you? That's the end of everything. So I think they both had faith. And I want to say that to you today. Sarah and I and our team who answer the prayer needs. We want to have faith for you. And you know, crazy faith. Can God do anything? Does he say you can do anything? Does he believe in you? <laughs> call in with special faith needs. And of course, don't just call in. Be sure you get bulldog faith. Now remember, you can pass these on. I think faith is contagious. Do you want to be contagious? Yes, you do. I know you do. So call in right now. Mom, sometimes I think people, we, people, me, me, not just people, me, sometimes I, I look at the opposition and, and I get discouraged, right. right? I mean, how many things have there been in opposition? You know, things that are in my heart to do with saving Moses. And there's opposition, there's resistance, there's, it seems impossible, you know, yeah. like there, I've tr knocked on this one door, you know, for a couple years now. Yeah. And it just can be very discouraging. And I think right. about those guys that lowered their friend through the roof. There was a lot of opposition. Why did they go up on the roof? Well, there was opposition because the whole house was crowded with people. Right. And there was no way to get in. Right. So that's opposition. I can't figure out how to get in to see Jesus. Well, opposition. Sometimes when there's opposition, that means we take that as quit, give up, and pack up your toys and go home and play by yourself. But they didn't do that. They're like, ah. Oh, it's all packed. There's no way to get in. We can't get to Jesus because there's too many people. And somebody said, well, just because there's too many people, we'll figure out a way. We'll, we'll go. Right. It's not going to stop us. We're here. We might as well just figure this out. And you might be watching right now and there's just boatloads of opposition. You might be watching saying, well, there's boatloads of opposition um, from this situation. There's financial opposition. There's relationship opposition. There's health opposition. And, and these might be really legitimate, tangible opposition, but we'd love to pray for you that God would help you to find a way where there seems to be no way, where beyond, around, and side to side, that the opposition isn't a hindrance, but rather um, it really activates your faith. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We would love to pray for you. Of course, grab your copy of Bulldog Faith, but let's think about opposition because those guys, they were, you know, there's all these people around. So they said, fine, we'll try to go up on the roof. They had to, and then more opposition because they had to tear the roof apart. <laughs> right. And who does that? Yeah. Who climbs up on somebody's roof and rips a hole in it to lower, and then to lower this guy who's already crippled, 
Yeah. Right? I mean, and he and how do you lower a crippled guy down through a roof without dropping him right. and making it worse? Right. I mean, I could think of all the reasons this is a bad idea. And I would hear <laughs> Reese would tell me this. This is a bad idea, Sarah. Don't just, you know, and, and we have friends like that, and that's good because sometimes it's the voice of reason, but sometimes it just isn't encouraging. And you, there's all, all the reasons why you shouldn't do this. There's this reason, there's health reason, there's your age, there's you're not smart enough, you don't have money, da, da, da. all these oppositions. But God wants to encourage you again. Luke 1 37, nothing is impossible with God. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. We want to be as, like a miniature crazy faith friend and hold your arms up and say, yeah, and hold together and knit our faith with yours and say, nothing is impossible with God. And another thing it says there in that account, the power of the Lord was present to heal. Now, I wonder how many people got healed there. We only hear about one. But he had crazy faith friends. So I want you, if you have healing needs, we want to be your crazy faith friend. So I want you to call in. Don't go into a lot of detail, but you know, maybe you have a crooked back. Uh, maybe you have all kinds of mental distresses. You're bipolar. Uh, maybe you have limbs that don't work. Maybe you have arthritis. Just call in and name what it is. And we're going to believe God for you today to be healed. Now, you know, I know I've experienced God gave me a new heart when I was 23 years old, they said I could never be active. I'm 85, I'm active. You said, yeah, you're really active, but how? See, bulldog faith gives you the how to have faith in these situations. So please call in, get it. It's small, it's easy, get two or three, pass them on. I want to pass on faith in every circumstance. Stay there. Are you equipped to hold on and never let go? The happiest Christians are overcomers who sink their teeth into the Word of God and hang on, rain or shine, sink or swim, until they win. For your gift of any amount, we will send you Maryland's highly requested booklet, Bulldog Faith. In this timeless teaching, Marilyn will show you how Bulldog Faith can help you put the bite on the devil and watch him run. For your gift of $25 or more, we will also send you Marilyn's Wow Faith Book. Childlike faith will change your life, make you prosperous, and bring you health and victory. If you're tired of complicated and confusing approaches to faith that never seem to make a difference, then this book is for you. Learn how to return to the simple, childlike faith that always pleases God and opens the windows of heaven. And we will also send you our easy reference faith scripture card. Call or click today. people tell you, well, you can't do that. That'll never work. What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? <laughs> and I've had people say that to me through the years. So when I wanted to go on television, I went to a secular studio, met with the board, and they said to me, you're not television material. You will never make it. You just stay with radio. You're radio material, not television material. But you know, God thinks this, that you can do anything. <laughs> And so I just thought, I'm going to be on television, God. You told me. And one man stood up, not a Christian, and said, I think we ought to try her. That's 45 years ago. Folks, you say, well, how did you stay on television? We reach over 2 billion people every day. 
But what's the key? I want you to have the key for things you are believing for in your own career, in your own calling. The key is faith. And you need to call in and just say what you want God to do in your life. You feel maybe he's calling you to go through a university, calling you a certain career, a certain ministry. But when you call in and leave the prayer request and just speak briefly, get bulldog faith. Because if you want to know what worked for me back there, working now, 85, this is the key. It's just bulldog faith. The game isn't over until you win. Mom, I was thinking about uh, some of the different scenarios and situations you've been in and and uh, watching you kind of go through varying challenging situations and, and obstacles. And I was thinking about this guy as well that gets lowered through the roof, right? right? And I was thinking about him. And granted, he had his four crazy faith friends or, you know, all these buddies around him to lower him right. down. But I thought about it, and it's fabulous. Fabulous that you have people alongside to agree and to really hold your arms. And, yes. But I thought about him, and I thought, you know, if I was him, um, that would be uncomfortable, Right. right. <laughs> you would have to get squeezed and kind of put in situations and in, in, in probably physical, you know, proximities where it would be uncomfortable and it would feel awkward and feel, you know, like, wow. And, and he agreed to that. He agreed to be in a place of discomfort. And because he didn't say, you know, this is inconvenient, this is uncomfortable, it's hot here, you're trying to squeeze me in, and likely, you know, I mean, he's, he's crippled, so he's going to have some pains in places, Probably. right? So it might have hurt a little bit, too, you know, squeezing him down through this little hole. And then to risk the embarrassment, right? You're going to get pushed down right in front of all of these people, <laughs> which they couldn't get in because there were so many people, and there's all this embarrassment, and you're going to be the center of attention, right? And it's not just you, it's your infirmity. What's wrong with this guy that he gets lowered through? So, you, and, and so many times when we have something broken or dysfunctional, like for me, I don't want to like expose that to the general public and say, ooh, look at me, I'm broken and dysfunctional. Right. But yet that gets exposed. And he gets put in these really awkward, uncomfortable, maybe painful positions and situations, and then public display. I mean, he's like out for everybody to see. And he gets lowered right in front of Jesus. And sometimes faith, you know, we... we we can make faith sound glorious and beautiful right, and really right. nice. And, you know, right. we got hair and makeup today, right. so we look oh, really we great, look good. seriously. <laughs> but faith doesn't always have hair and makeup, right? Right. Faith doesn't always look like, ooh, pristine, and everything looks like really polished and everything. Faith sometimes gets messy, uncomfortable, inconvenient. Sometimes it's a little bit embarrassing and it stretches you out of your comfort zone. And nevertheless, because he didn't quit in any of that, he That's could right. have said at any point in time, no, don't bring me up on the roof. No. no, don't lower me through. No, don't squeeze me through that hole. No, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of all those people. He said yes. His faith said yes. And I challenge you today, maybe you've been listening and you say, yeah, that's me. I've been uncomfortable. And I said, you know, no more. I'm done. It's uncomfortable. It's too hot. It's too intense. You know, or maybe you're embarrassed. Nope. I'm not going to let all of my garbage in front of everybody. Nope. I don't want to be embarrassed. And, or maybe you've, you've said no, because it's just, it pushes too far. But God's challenging you today to say yes to faith and not quit, not give up. Hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. And whatever the obstacles are, whatever the hindrances, and even in your own thinking, even in your own mindset, well, you know, I'm crippled, I'm de deformed, I'm embarrassed, you know, I'm going to be on display for all to see, you know, just hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you and grab a couple of copies of Bulldog Faith because, of course, you want to pass them around to your friends <laughs> who will be crazy faith friends with you. But let's not say no to faith. Let's say yes to faith and let's say no to shame, no to embarrassment, no to dysfunction, no to cripple, no to despondent, discouraged, no to all that stuff, inconvenient, uncomfortable. Let, that's all fine, but let's never say no to faith. And that costs those people. Because if they climbed up on that roof and cut a hole, hey, they've got to fix the roof or they've got to pay somebody to do it. So to them, these crazy faith friends, it cost. And I think sometimes we look at financial situations and think, no, no, can't do it. Because we look at the finances instead of the miracle God wants to do. 
So I remember when I first went on television, and it was $5,000 a month, and my husband said to me, it's your baby, you got to feed it. How am I going to get $5,000 a month for television? But you know, God did it. And now, of course, <laughs> it's a lot more expensive than that. But I'm just saying, you know, faith can cost. It has money involved in it. And that's why I want you to get bulldog faith because in those early days, I had to have faith. And so I put this in a booklet because I want you to see that faith is greater than the world. We overcome the world through our faith. So when you call in, get Bulldog Faith. And I, I like what you say. Get two or three copies of it because we have friends who need Bulldog Faith. And they're trying to believe for their finances. I'd love for you to call in. Just say the amount you're believing for. Don't go into detail. But let's believe for miracle finances. Folks, all through your life, you're going to be believing for finances. So let's get into faith, but let's also pass it on. And, you know, finances as well as physical needs. Yes. Talking about that guy who was crippled. Oh, my. And I know there are individuals watching today that have physical needs. You're right. watching, and maybe you have diabetes like my friend I mentioned at the beginning of, of our program. You know, maybe you have cancer. You've had a bad report from cancer. The doctor said, you know, it's, it's advanced or it's, it's expanded got a bad report. Maybe you had a physical need as far as your knees. You're struggling with your knees or your weight or sometimes eating. But we know that Jesus answers prayer. And so hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you and pray that your faith would be stirred up and encouraged, that your faith isn't just going to kind of be sidelined and be a little bit of a an afterthought, but rather that it's frontline and really engaged. And while you're on the phone, you know, love to get you a copy of Bulldog Faith. It'd be great, great blessing in your life. And, and let's as well, you know, I think this is important too, Mom, that we're crazy faith friends for other people oh, my in these goodness. areas of need, right? It's very important. And when it says, you know, that the word was powerful, the power of the Lord was present to heal. Power there is miracle working power, you know. And what they tapped into was miracle working power. When you get into faith, what are you tapping into? Miracle working power. And that's why the enemy hates faith. Where do you need a miracle in your life? Why don't you call in? Let us pray with you and believe with you for that. It can be family. It can be health. It can be finances. You know, it can be favor. It could be wisdom. You need wisdom from God to handle the situations. But you have to have faith in God that he'll give you wisdom. You know, it says we have not because we ask not. So why are we there with a prayer ministry? Because we want you to ask. And so that's very important. So call in, ask, keep it brief, keep it brief, please. And then I want you to be sure that you get bulldog faith. And Sarah... I like faith to be contagious. So I have some pictures in here of faith things I had to believe for, you know. And I look in here and I see Sarah. I believed for her to have the right mate. I believe for whatever God had for her, you know. So I think the pictures will help you too to just, hey, God can do anything. I just can't give up on him. I have to trust him and believe him. And so call in and just say, you know, I think I would like five or six of those bulldog faith because I want to affect other people. And I know miracle working power is in faith. And that's so key for us. So I expect to hear from you. Are you equipped to hold on and never let go? The happiest Christians are overcomers who sink their teeth into the Word of God and hang on, rain or shine, sink or swim, until they win. For your gift of any amount, we will send you Maryland's highly requested booklet, Bulldog Faith. In this timeless teaching, Maryland will show you how Bulldog Faith can help you put the bite on the devil and watch him run. For your gift of $25 or more, we will also send you Maryland's Wow Faith Book. 
childlike faith will change your life, make you prosperous, and bring you health and victory. If you're tired of complicated and confusing approaches to faith that never seem to make a difference, then this book is for you. Learn how to return to the simple, childlike faith that always pleases God and opens the windows of heaven. And we will also send you our easy reference faith scripture card. Call or click today. We're so glad you watched today and as we finish our time together we're going to pray with you here in just a moment but I feel like the Holy Spirit wants me to encourage you with this as we conclude. In Psalms 55 22 it says, cast your cares on the Lord because He cares for you. And sometimes with faith we can get into worry and fear and anxiety and stress and those things when we hold on to that and we let that ruminate and fulminate in our mind and uh, but stop for a second and say I'm going to choose faith and I'm going to throw away the worry, the doubt, the fear, and the anxiety. So, of course, we want to pray for you, so hop on the phone. We'd love to pray for you that God would help you to release that fear, release those worries, release the anxiety, and embrace fear. So, Mom, would you pray for us here at the end? Oh, yes. I love to pray for faith. Good. That's so powerful. And plus, we'll be pleasing to God. So, put your hand on your body and pray with me. Say, Father, you love me. And I believe today that because you love me, I can have faith in you and you will do the miraculous in my life. Be real to me today. Give me revelation knowledge in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, folks, I want to say to you again, be sure you call us and we want to be sure you get bulldog faith. I love this about faith. We go from faith to faith, strength to strength, glory to glory. Don't get stuck on one level. Keep pressing in. Greater faith and greater faith and greater faith and greater faith. And remember, Bulldog Faith will help you get there. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. We're so thrilled that we get to minister to you on YouTube. So, of course, you got to hit the subscribe button because we want to continue to get to connect and at your convenience. That's one of the things I love about YouTube is you can watch at your own convenience. And when you subscribe, then you get all the latest and the greatest.